Hey guys, Lone Hawk here, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you the steps required to operate and deliver the AGM 84E SLAM using the FA18C Hornet to ensure that you get a precision strike on your target each and every time. Hopefully that target is the enemy. Alright, let's get flying. The AGM 84E SLAM, which stands for Standoff Land Air Attack Missile, is a subsonic over the horizon air launched cruise missile based off the Harpoon anti ship cruise missile. It has all weather, day and night precision attack capabilities for attacks against stationary high value targets. Its guidance and seeker sections include an internal navigation system, which is supplemented by a GPS input. It also has a walleye data link system and an infrared seeker from the Maverick missile. The ordnance that is using the SLAM is the same warhead that is using the Tomahawk cruise missile. Here are the main controls that you're going to need to be able to use the AGM 84E SLAM. You're going to need the frontal designator controller, depress, TDC down, TDC left, TDC right, TDC up. We also need sensor control switch left and sensor control switch right. And of course, weapon release button. Okay, now that we've covered the controls, let's get the aircraft ready to fire. First thing you need to do is turn the master arm switch to arm and the master mode to air to ground. Next, you want to head over to your stores page and turn on the SLAM and data link 13. You'll notice a timer will appear. That's a two and a half minute alignment timer for the SLAM missile. It starts at 10 minutes and works its way down to seven and a half. Next thing you need to set is the mode. So you have two main options for the mode, either pre-planned which uses the USC scratch pad to enter coordinates in uh, to tell the, the uh, SLAM where to go. The other main option is the TOO, target of opportunity. That has three different ways to give it coordinates. The first being the land radar that's just been implemented into the F-18. The next is a waypoint designate and the last is the flare pod. We're going to use the waypoint designate to get an initial coordinates and then fine tune that using the flare pod. Now, just below that is the flight level, which is linked to the three options here. So with the flight level at the moment, it's set to low. You have three different options, low, medium, and high. We're going to leave it at low. Basically that just tells the missile what altitude to fly at. So we want it to fly low to the ground. Uh, your next option is the e-fuse. At the moment that's off, we want to change that to instant so that when it does hit the target, there's a nice big explosion. Below that is distance. Now the distance is how far out from the target in nautical miles will the seek ahead camera turn on and send video back to the data link pod so we can watch it and see what the missile's up to. We'll set that in just a moment because there's a few other things we've got to do first. As you can notice, on the picture of the aircraft here, we have the left inner wing station, station three selected for each slam. Uh, you can basically change that by using the step here and that will select any of them that you wanna fire. We need to tell though the data link which one of these we have selected so it knows which one we want to fire. To do that, you go to the weapon option down here and you can see that now there is four slam options. Each one of these slam options is linked to one of the slams on the wing. With the top being station two, left outer wing, then station three, left inner wing, station seven, right inner wing, and station eight, right outer wing. So we're using the left inner wing, so we wanna to go to this second option. Now we can set the distance by going slam display, and selecting UFC and then selecting the distance option here on the UFC and we'll change it to 15 nautical miles and hit enter. We then come over here to mission. Now there's no coordinates set yet so that's what we need to do now. So we'll go over to the right DDI and select HSI and select waypoint one and waypoint designate. Now there's coordinates have appeared there we need to find out if we're in range or not. To do that, you go over to your HSI, you can see there's two rings, the outer ring and the inner ring. The outer ring is the maximum range of the missile and the inner ring is the minimum range of the missile. So you basically wanna be somewhere between those two. As you can see here by our aircraft, 
we're sort of about almost halfway between the two rings so we will be within range to fire and just confirm that you will see that up here so we have the slam selected we're in TOO mode and we are in range if you are outside of that maximum range ring instead of in range you'll actually see a timer there and that'll tell you how long until you're in range so now that we've got that selected we want to fine tune where it's aiming so we want to go flare and we're going to select the right DDI and we're basically just going to aim our flare pod down to about there zoom in and as you can see there's a few scud launches just there we'll change to narrow view so we can see a bit better and we'll select this one here to select it you use TDC depress now as I do that you'll notice the coordinates on the left DDI will change and there you go they've now changed and a diamond has appeared around that scud launcher so that means that the slam knows that we want that exact point for it to fly out there is a slight problem with that though the slam will get close to where you designate but it won't be perfect so you do need to make even finer adjustments right at the end which you do after the video has become available and you can actually see the slam kind of aiming at your target but it'll be slightly off you need to just make fine adjustments so now that we've got that selected we'll return and it'll take us back to the main stores page as you can see the timer has disappeared and there's now a ready option under our slam so we're going to go ahead and fire it and there she goes now we will deselect the slam option up here and just leave the data link on which gives you the video feed now it is just static because it's not within the 15 miles that we told it to so it's basically going to keep flying and there is a timer you can actually make it out there but it is a little bit harder so what I like to do is go over here and go stores and then you can see it there now that's TTS time to seeker so we've got about 75 seconds so we'll fast forward until it gets within the 15 miles okay so that it should come on any second now and there we go so you could just see the island in the bottom there and it looks like the slam is aiming at sort of the horizon now there is a few different options on here that you can play around with the first on the left is the aft antenna so if you did want to turn around and burn to play it safe you'd select that and it would basically select the aft antenna on the data link and you'd still be able to communicate with the slam the next option is UFC which is linked to channel 3 here so if you launch multiple slams off different stations obviously channel 3 is station 3 channel 8 station 8 you just use the usc to change the channel you also have the fov so the field of view you can zoom it in and zoom it out we'll leave it out for now now to do the fine adjustment at the end for the slam you need to select the left ddi by doing left sensor control and you'll notice a diamond will appear up here in the top left that means we've selected this DDI so we can make the fine adjustments that we need right at the end now on the F18 under the special options if you have the realistic TDC option set to make those fine adjustments when you're using the TDC up down left and right you will also have to hold the TDC depress if you don't have that option selected you can just use left right up and down now we're just going to basically wait until it gets close enough and uh, it has started to go down so we're going to get ready should be able to see there's a bit of land there so it's going to start to find the target soon and we'll get ready to start adjusting it so I can see the target there so it's close but it's not quite so we're just going to aim it up a little to the right and she will go in so let's watch that so as you can see that's going to be a very good hit so we will go to our missile and there it is now let's watch this actually hit the target splash target destroyed that's pretty much it um, so if you did enjoy the video please hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel as this does help me out a lot. Uh, if you have any questions or queries, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you and do my best to help you out. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching.